Stephen Carl McMillan, E. Ingeman, third class. Most of both both West Packs, I maybe went to Hawaii first. In my books, it has it, but I think the the first West Pack I went, we went to, uh, I think uh, the the Japan, and then uh, Taiwan, then the Philippines, and then back to Hawaii. My second one though was very, and, and, and the reason maybe I I wouldn't have had to do but one, but. I, we was only back 11 months in one of our sister ships, either the Ajax or Vulcan, Vulcan out of San Diego. It, it couldn't make the trip, so we had to go take their spot. So we was only, it was only 11 months between my first West Pack and the second West Pack. And the second West Pack, my captain, it was his retirement cruise. So in other words, it was going to be his last one. He was retired, or either maybe going to sea duty, then retire. But he, I mean, a shore duty. But we got to go to Tahiti, and I don't think there's. But I'm just. I seem like it would be like two or three ships a year to get to go there. But on the downside of that, but it's upside now that we cross the equator, and a lot of people don't cross the equator because. You either, like I say, you go to Tahiti or you go to Australia and something like that. A lot of people, a lot of ships don't go to Australia. So we were fortunate enough to go to Tahiti. Then we went to the Philippines. And then we went to Japan. And then to Pusan, Korea. And then back to Hawaii and then to the States. But like I say, the equator. And it was a very unique thing to be initiated uh, and like I said, it's, it's it's kind of a funny thing. They they duck you, you know. They duck you. One of the last thing they do, they duck you down. They and they pull you up. And they say, "What are you?" And John me said, "Pollywog." And duck me again. Pull me up again. And say, "What are you?" I said, "I'm a shell bag." And that's what you are. <laughs> so, but I put it wrong. But I do also remember when we did the. It wasn't real bad. I'm sure the guys had done it back in the 40s and 50s. But I do remember that we had to push a, a, a penny with our nose all the way around the brow. And it's got that rough stuff to where you, you know, where it's just slip stuff. You know, it's like, kind of like harder than doing it on black asphalt or whatever. But we had to push that penny around the bow with our nose. So it was pretty... It was whatever, but I guess we was kind of whatever because it was, it was like 750 on the ship when I was on her, but like only 40 or 50 were shell bags. So the majority of us was getting initiated. There wasn't a whole lot of them to do the initiation to us. But anyhow, then we did that. We went to Tahiti and uh, it was probably everything a lot of people would think it was. It was very pretty and nice place and but I say that's why we went because it was the captain's retirement cruise or whatever you want to call it.